Hi everybody. Uh, one of the big challenges of your summer reading was the um, dialect in that book. It was written in, well, it used to be called SBE, Standard Black English. Now it's called AAVE, African American Vernacular English. Um, but what's amazing is that um, AAVE you know, that is, that dialect has rules that are followed, grammatical rules that are followed across the country. Um, so I, I don't know if you realize that, but it's, it's a legitimate dialect that has rules. And likewise, pidgin is a legitimate dialect with its own rules, as well as Creole English and even Valley Girl English. All of those dialects have their own grammar rules. So one thing I wanted you to practice doing was taking a look at language and deducing what the rules are. Here's an example. I think this is from Wikipedia. Um, the AAVE example, he be working Tuesdays, means he works frequently or habitually on Tuesdays. Um, he stay working, he is always working. So you can see that they say in that dialect, they say things different than we do. And what I'd like you to do is see if you can deduce what are the rules of their dialect. What are the rules of their dialect? Okay, so if you, let me scroll down a little bit. Um, one of the rules for AAVE is that um, the way they say their negatives is different. A, a double negative is okay. Um, so let's see an example here, like here, I'm looking right here. Double negation. We, we wouldn't, that would not be okay in standard English, but it is in, um, in AAVE. I didn't go nowhere. I didn't go nowhere. So in standard black English, or sorry, A-A-V-E, um, that's okay. That means I didn't go anywhere. But in, in standard English, we wouldn't say it like that. We'd say I didn't go anywhere. All right, so the rule is double negatives are okay. Okay? Two negatives do not make a positive. Two negatives stay a negative in A-A-V-E. All right, so you have to take home this conversation in Creole English. Okay, if you look at it, it's got its own weird, well, I, I shouldn't say weird, it's just weird to us, but it's got its own dialect, and you're supposed to pick out examples and tell us what the rules are, okay? So let's see, like for example, on line two, me glad you come, doctor. Okay, so the Creole woman is saying, me glad you come. So m the rule might be me equals I, and later you can figure out, um, something that's about pronouns, right? What's the pronoun rule there? Okay, so study this dialect and see if you can come up with the rules. And or Valley Girl. Try this um, dialect and see, like for example, what are the rules for the word like? There are certain times when it would be inappropriate to use like. However, you can use like at a variety of times. So when is it okay to use like and when is it not? So good luck studying dialect. This is something people do in college or um, grad schools, take linguistics class, and it's kind of fun. So enjoy it. Enjoy studying the language. That's it.